One of the most honored traditions of the Boy Scouts of America is the flag retirement ceremony. Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts from across America retire millions of flags every year. These flags are sent to us from all around the globe for what has become for us a most honored and sacred tradition. One that leaves a lasting impression not only on the Scouts who take part, but for everyone who stands as it, its witness. Federal law states that when a flag is in such a condition that it no longer is a fitting emblem for display, it should be destroyed, preferably by burning. The flags we've retired today could have flo flown in front of your house, in front of your school, in front of your business. They might have flown in some other country, in some foreign embassy or some military battlefield somewhere. The flag we retire this evening symbolizes all of the flags that have ever flown anywhere in the world. These flag, the flags themselves never had any choice where they were flown or for how long they might wave there. They've flown in all kinds of weather, through storms, blizzards, tornadoes, hurricanes. They might have flown in other countries or flown over faraway embassies or our most distant military installations. They might have been insulted by people who don't understand our way of life or assaulted by even rockets or bullets. All of these flags we've retired had but one job, representing us, all of us. And it is our privilege to honor those sacrifices. The red, the red stripe represents, represents the blood of the brave men and women who have fought for our country. The white stripes represent the purity and deeds of all those who fought for our freedom. The 13 stripes together represent the 13 original colonies that secured our freedom for us. The blue field represents truth and justice and promise that all men are created equally under God. The 50 stars represent the 50 states it is both fitting and proper that a flag so designed should receive our most solemn and dignified farewell. From churchyard to battlefield, from Arlington to ground zero, she has stood for us all and she stands for us all. The grommets from these flags give her strength and integrity. The qualities our military men and women have always aspired to. But no ordinary fire will do for our flag. For the, to this fire we add. And throw it in the fire. Okay. For the blood of our patriots. Say the oak. Oak for the strength of our pioneers. Cedar to preserve our way of life. Walnut for our rich and professionals. Now may everyone please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag one last time. Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Gentlemen, retire this flag.